here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Wind Chaser Farms and uh, currently taking the R4045 up to our next uh, field here, which uh, should be field four. And we need to uh, spray some more weed be gone on that field. That uh, field, yeah, looking a little uh, weedy here. If we switch over to that uh, screen, that's uh, actually not uh, completely weedy yet. Oh, field two is going to need some fertilizer too. I just noticed that. I thought I had all the fields uh, fertilized that I had planted, but apparently not. So we'll uh, we'll get on that here next as well. I know what I'm probably going to. You know, let's uh, yeah, let's create the start point over here. I'm trying to create all my start points in the same spot, uh, at least uh, within reason here. Anyway. I know at least on field four here, I got a couple of start points that are in like an odd location. Or not necessarily an odd location, just a different location. So, okay, let's, uh, I actually have a course for this already, don't I? Field four, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Field four, 36 meter, I do. Okay, and yeah, that's the one that does have the uh, start point over here. Oh, well, well, we'll go over there then. For some reason, I was thinking I didn't have a fertilized course for this, but I do. Okay, already set to the first waypoint. And we'll have him uh, drive the course. Course place should be able to take care of from there. Let's go grab our other R4045 here, which uh, should be over here somewhere. There he is. Got uh, fertilizer on him. Why was he should not have been running? I haven't used him at all. Okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, let's go to field two. And we want 36 meter fertilize on that one. Also, first waypoint, of course. Nope, that's nearest. Try that again. There we go. First waypoint. Oh, ditch. That's right. That uh, Just looking at that ditch there, it doesn't look uh, very deep. Until you drive into this ditch, this is actually a really deep ditch here. Uh, it's uh, It goes down ways. It doesn't look like it does, but... Uh, Oh, uh, what did I get stuck in there a while back? I forget what got stuck in there, but yeah, we had a pretty good time uh, getting it out of there. Was it course, did a course play run in there or something? I forget what it was, but uh, we had something down in there that uh, got stuck, and it was uh, it was stuck pretty good. Uh, let's see, we're also uh, planting wet corn. Must be uh, planting in Michigan here or something. That's <laughs> uh, Must be what's up with the wet corn. So we're planting uh, wet corn here on field three. Got uh, potatoes going in here on... Uh, field 18, this is going to... Actually, you know what? How long is this going to take? Uh, two hours and 29 minutes. And why are you missing course play? That is odd. Course play, you should not be missing. Oh, you know what? Yes, okay, you know what? It's probably missing because these are not no-till planters, are they? So anywhere where the plow missed... Oh, I did not realize this was going to be a problem. Yes, I bet you everyone this is not a no-till cedar. Even though, how can this not be a no-till cedar? I mean, ridiculous. But anyway, I'll bet you that's what's going on. So we're going to have some really weird strips on the field here because, yeah, I'll bet you that's, well, no, that doesn't make sense, though. The plow did not miss here. Hmm, interesting. What do we got going on? These are six meters, or at least they're supposed to be. I think we better check for some offsets here. One to the left. Working with six meters. Okay, let's check the other one here. One of you uh, must not be doing something. Oh, you're missing. You're missing by quite a bit. Oh ho! What is up with this? One to the right. Well, um, okay, everyone. I don't actually know. Uh, let's turn this on here. Oh yeah, you're like way off there, buddy. Way off. Okay, so this one's clearly the problem. But why? Uh-huh. Okay, everyone. So, yes. Uh, note, I, all I did is I changed him one to the left, then quickly changed him back one to the right. So, it looks like he's uh, planting back where he should be now. Oh, oh well. That's uh, that's kind of too bad. I, I should have noticed that uh, last episode. We could have... I suppose I can have him run this again a little bit. He's done. Maybe I'll do that here uh, when he's done. Uh, where is he? Actually, no, maybe I should do it right now. Maybe I should. Yeah, it's not going to hurt. You know what? Let's... Maybe, well, yeah, he didn't miss that much. Well, sort of didn't miss that. Yeah, we'll let it go. 
<laughs> Thinking about this other one, I'm not... Yeah, we're just going to let it go. I don't want him to redo that. He's already been going for an hour. Oh, actually, yeah, has it been an hour? Whatever, however much time it was last episode, and then probably about another 30 minutes here uh, before I started recording this episode. That's probably about how long he's been going, so... Yeah. Uh, we're still uh, making bales on this field yet. Almost done there, so I'm going to start uh, picking those up here this episode. Uh, field 19 is ready to be planted as well, so I'll probably get the uh, planter on that as soon as he's done with field 3. I don't know what I'm going to plant on that yet. And what are you... You guys... Oh! I was going to say, I, I stopped the plows down here. Oh, our trucks got stuck here. Uh, still selling sugar beets yet. We have uh, 384,000 left to go yet. This uh, sugar beet selling process would go much quicker, of course, they would actually sell the sugar beets, which it does sometimes. Uh, but uh, most of the time, it either gets stuck at the gate entrance or it gets stuck on the sell point. Or sometimes it just does both. You know, of course, they can't make up its mind. Most just get stuck in both locations then, right? Yeah, why not? I guess when I'm done here, I'm probably just going to delete that course and I'll have to uh, create another one next time. Oh, well. And we'll get the uh, Big Bud 450 out of the way here as well. Mm, they're trying to tangle with the Big Bud 450 there, eh, truck? That's probably going to be a losing proposition for you. I mean, mind you, you might have about the same horsepower this tractor does. In fact, uh, those trucks might actually have more horsepower than this tractor does. Uh, I guarantee you this uh, tractor, you hook it up, and it'll probably drag both those trucks backwards, at least in real life. Okay, we'll park that there. Land all plows. Definitely a good purchase. Like those. Might have to get some more of those in the uh, future here. Just to, you know, make the plow into the fields a little bit uh, faster. Okay, we got... What is going on with the fertilizer here? That is a little odd. Yeah, like the fertilizer. What in the world, everyone? My goodness, the fertilizer is like non-existent down through here and then also up there it starts getting a little bit and then here now it's working um very weird yay i guess i can't see the application rate while he's going can i we'll just have to keep an eye on that he should be able to spray the or uh yeah fertilize this field because i sprayed it and uh typically with the in-game mechanics here as long as you spray the field you can fertilize immediately after i know it hasn't grown yet but should be able to fertilize it, which it is doing somewhat, just not uh, completely. Interesting. Oh, well. Where did I leave my truck for hauling bales? Oh, you know, I think it's in the barn, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is in the barn. Okay, let's see what's here. We're going to switch you back to round bales here. Small squares, 1.3 meter round bales. I believe, again, that is what we are loading. Yes, that'll work. I mentioned those last episode as well, everyone. I did try to get uh, course play here a few episodes back to pick up bales for us. I didn't try the round bales. I don't know. The round bales, I think, would actually be worse than the square bales, I would think. But, uh... Square bales, I never could get course play to pick up one single bale. And again, I'm not blaming course play for that. Just the uh, way the square baler throws the bales. It doesn't really throw them, but uh, just because of how it works. The bales do not get put out in a straight line. And uh, yeah, course play failed to pick up every single bale on field four. I did not pick up a single one. I had it run the course for... I don't know, we started it on screen, I think, wasn't it? And then off screen there, I probably tried for like another hour, let course play just run around and see if I could get it to pick up any bales. It, didn't, it never picked up any. I tried a couple different offsets, like, well, okay, well, let's offset it a little further. Just, you know, bales are all over the place, so it never picked up a single one. Kind of annoying, but oh well. Back to picking up bales ourselves manually here, I guess. Just a reminder here too, everyone, by the way, if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, again, anyone is welcome to do so, as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. Again, if you'd like to uh, join us, uh, the RD Allen TeamSpeak server information is down below in the description of this video. 
Again, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can... Uh, ooh, there's a bale hiding in there. Uh, as long as you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. Or was there not a bale hiding in there? I don't think there was. Oh, maybe there was and it just picked up and I didn't notice it. Again, a microphone is not required to join us on TeamSpeak, by the way. And if you don't have TeamSpeak, TeamSpeak is a free app you can get for the PC as well as your phones and mobile devices. Uh, Macs as well. Uh, TeamSpeak is not available for the console, though, to my knowledge. So you cannot get it for the console. Like you can't get the R4045 or the 9RT or any of the other uh, really good uh, PC mods that are out there. And also don't forget as well, everyone, to join us on our live streams. Again, the link for the live streams is down below. Again, I do live stream over on uh, Twitch there. Uh, I haven't live streamed a whole lot from uh, Wind Chaser here, but I have done a couple of live streams there. Uh, I'm currently playing on Hawks Bay New Zealand map on the multiplayer servers there. And, of course, that's uh, usually what I'm live streaming from is the uh, multiplayer maps. As I said before, you know, multiplayer in Farming Sim, it kind of makes sense to uh, live stream that if you ask me. You know, live stream, multiplayer, it just seems like they kind of go together. Okay, 1586 has finished. I'm not sure what the 1586 was doing, but uh, he was clearly... Oh, 103,000 dollars. Yeehaw. Uh, what was the 1586 doing? Oh, that's right. He's the one bailing. Okay, he's done. Okay, yep. Good. And you. Let's see what's here. Uh, potatoes, or should I plant something else in 19? I'm going to have a lot of potatoes in uh, field 18. So maybe I'll plant something else in field 19. I could do sugar. Eh, we'll do... What else do we got in here? Sudan grass. Hmm. So we plant some Sudan grass. Question is, what do you do with Sudan grass in the game? Oh, and bale it, or... Oh, let's see what it says in the shop here. Oh, it's probably actually not going to show anything as far as what they can mow, are they? Mows cut grass. Okay, good to know. Uh, well, let's go over to maybe harvesters then. Harvesters can do Sudan grass. They can also apparently do clover and alfalfa. Um, okay then. Interesting. I, I can't say I've ever seen clover or alfalfa harvested with a combine. And I'm pretty sure I don't have a course play course for this because uh, this has kind of been our root crop field here. Yeah, we've done uh, potatoes on here a few times now. So, course generation field 19, two headland passes. Yeah, we'll call that good. Took a moment to generate that. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised. Okay, field. 19, whoop, oh, wrong button. Field 19, 18 meter plant. Okay, first waypoint. Oh, that's right. That's right. Got to stop him here first. Uh, oh, I know, I know. You keep folding it back out here. Uh, course play does not know enough to uh, turn the plan around when it starts. So, right. I remember that there from last episode. I was about to leave. It's like, oh, wait. Right. Course play doesn't know how to turn it on for some reason, even though it's the same buttons every other planner is. Okay, now you can start at the first waypoint. Take care of that uh, 1586 here a minute to stop you. Oh, 97%, almost full, wow. 
Also, if you all look up at the uh, Glance mod there, well, it's not really called the Glance mod, but uh, the Glance mod there, wow, we got quite a bit of equipment running here at the moment. There's, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of equipment running here at the moment. I know it may not look like we have that much going on here, but uh, until you look at Glance and realize, we, yeah, we got a fair amount of equipment moving here. Speaking of equipment moving... Are you, uh, yeah, you boys are stuck over here again, aren't you? Of course. Why would you not be stuck? I mean, that just, uh, just, you know, makes sense. There we go. Hey, of course, I watch this. Look at that. I got in here without getting stuck. Problem is now he's going to get stuck at the cell point too, of course, so... Might as well just uh, stay here because he's going to get stuck again. Well, most likely will anyway. And yes, there's a reason I'm backing up. Uh, of course, but are you not going to unload? Or did I did I miss it? Yeah, he's yeah he's not unloading, is he? He's empty. Horse play. Why are you empty? Sugar beets. Uh, interesting. There are sh definitely sugar beets. Okay. Note to self. We'll uh, we'll check that in a minute. Uh, but yes, horse play. I would uh, like to have an explanation as to why you're empty, because. I have caught this before, everyone. There is one truck that has been empty a couple times before. Not every single time, but uh, every now and then I'm getting a truck that's going through here that is empty. Uh, I don't know why. And the only reason I'm catching this is the fact that... Now, what am I stuck on? I think it's just a... Uh, maybe just a horsepower problem here. We can't pull up this ramp, really? Come on, truck. There we go. Pretty sure if I tell him to drive the course here at this point, he'll just uh, take off with a partial load, so... Okay, now he can drive the course. Uh, let's go uh, check what's up with this other uh, deadbeat truck here. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you just. Why don't you just uh, stop there? Cause uh, oh, you're in that mode. Why are you in that mode? And wheat. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I wonder if at uh, some point. Well, no, that doesn't make sense though. I was gonna say maybe at some point because I stopped him and got him unstuck, he switched modes. But that typically doesn't happen. Of course, but doesn't just randomly switch modes when you start and stop him. At least it's not sup. Uh, Supposed to anyway. Why do we got? Why are we striping my field here? Course play. Oh my goodness, the derp is mounting up here this episode. Wow. Okay, why don't you stop as well? Because you clearly are wasting fertilizer and being excessively derpy. Odd, everyone. Well, I don't think there's any sense in uh, fertilizing this field then, because I'm not just gonna sit here and have a striped field that's like half fertilized, half not. All right, you know what I bet it is? It's something to do with the direction. Or if I uh, turn around here and come back the other direction, will it work? Nope, negative. Oh, no, no, it did too, everyone. Yep, it did too. A uh, directional thing, interesting. Very, very interesting. It'll work in one direction, but not the other direction. Okay, all the weeds on this field are gone, everyone. So we know the sprayer hopefully did its job. And it didn't miss anything. But something's definitely wrong with the uh, fertilizer here. I'll have to maybe wait till a growth stage occurs before I put any more fertilizer down then. Oh, well, it's kind of annoying. Uh, it is what it is then, I guess. Okay, let's go pick up the rest of those bales here then. What I should have done? Well, actually, I guess we're planting Sudan grass. Maybe we can bale the Sudan grass. But I should uh, put some grass on field 19 there. It's nice and close to our bale cell point, and we can uh, make some more bales that way.
There we go. And if I recall correctly, there's usually not another full load on here. It'd be nice if there would be, because that'd be another $100,000. Uh, Again, just off this uh, little field here, we're actually making uh, pretty good money off these wrapped bales. Compared to pretty much all the other uh, crop types on this map that are virtually worthless. Uh, again, everyone, with the uh, prices on this map, even though we're set to easy mode with the prices, uh, the prices are still essentially hard. Just the uh, the way the mod author has set the pricing on this map, he's apparently set it to be extremely hard. So, uh, well, yes, again, while we're in easy, it's almost like we're playing hard, which is, yeah, making it uh, difficult to make uh, any real quick progress here. Which, uh, typically on a map of this size, again, just because of the size, you can usually make some pretty good progress on a map of this size, which is kind of what I was hoping for, but not really happening. And as I've said before, everyone, I don't particularly agree with that. Uh, my opinion on that is if I want to play on hard mode, everyone, it's simple. I just select the slider there and put it to hard. Very easy. I don't exactly like it when uh, mod authors like, you know, you're playing on this on hard mode. Even though you're on easy and, you know, the prices are still, like, in hard. So, uh, you know, again, everyone, keep in mind, if we were to actually play this in hard, we would be making a quarter the money we do now. So, uh, currently a load of sugar beets is selling for, what, 20-some thousand dollars? I haven't seen the exact price. Uh, well, I have, but I don't remember what it is. wasn't paying attention. I, we'd get a quarter of that. So, if it's selling... Well, let's just keep the math simple. Let's say it's selling for 20000 It's a little more than that. I think it's at 26 or 24. Well, 24000 is easy math, too. If it's selling for $24,000, uh, a sixth of that is 6000 So every time we take a load there, we would make $6,000. Not much. Not much at all. And yes, I suppose I could go put 150% sell point down, but uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of the sell points on the map, if you ask me. So, refrain from doing that. Uh, wow, you seem to be going really slow. Sure, why Why is it taking you so long to make it around this field? Because that seems like you should be around it by now. Or what? Yeah, 22 minutes into the episode, you haven't made it around this field? This field isn't that big. Oh, Okay. How are we looking on the uh, potatoes, by the way? We doing pretty good here? Yeah, it's much, much better. Still not a no-till planter, though, is it? Because you can see he is missing where the plow missed. I didn't think of that when uh, it's like, oh, well, the plow missed. Well, we'll just uh, we'll get it next time. But, yeah, that's actually going to affect our planting, too, isn't it? <laughs> not to mention the cedar was all messed up there as well. I'll have to uh, keep that in mind. Even though, everyone, it was set one to the right, everything was set correctly... Horse play was still screwed up. Something wasn't right somewhere. Uh, nothing you could obviously see that I could see anyway. I don't know. Maybe you folks seen something that wasn't right. But uh, going through the settings here, I did not see anything that wasn't right. Uh, and the only thing that fixed is we just uh, selected the different lane offset and set it back to what it was supposed to be. And that uh, got it in the right spot. So something wasn't right there. That's the way it was in Farming Simulator 17 too. I remember that. So 19 here, I haven't had as much issue with that. So I don't know what was going on there. Uh, let's see. Field 1. I guess I can't really fertilize that yet. Can I? Or maybe I can. Uh, you know what? I, yes. I actually I should be able to fertilize that, right? Just because I mowed it. That should still work. Put the uh, fertilizer over here then. Can't do Field 2. Let's do Field 1. Field 1. Load up the fertilizer course there. Oh, let's see, $654,000. Nice. We are at least uh, making money. That is good. That is good. Nice to see that uh, money go up a little bit for a change. Yeah, okay, first waypoint, drive the course. Hopefully that fertilizer should be working over there. Yep, I can see it's working there already. So yeah, with the uh, current money, you know what, while we have it, let's uh, spend it. But we're not going to have it for long. Another uh, potato harvester. Actually, should I go sugar beet harvester? 
Uh, sure, beat harvester. I was thinking another potato harvester first, because, uh, again, reminder, field 18. But then again, field 2. Uh, field 18. Field 2. Hmm. I'm hoping maybe we can afford one of each. That would be nice. Should be able to, I would... Well, maybe not. We're almost out of sugar beets, aren't we? Uh, 200,000. We got a million potatoes left yet. A million potatoes. That should get us close to another harvester, I would think. You know, let me uh, fix you well uh, before I forget here. The other one over there? He is, isn't he? Well, this should uh, make uh, selling a little bit quicker now. If both trucks are actually uh, selling. Rather than just one uh, just driving around in circles for the fun of it. Notice, everyone, that uh, truck made it in here. I'm assuming he sold, right? I didn't come on your empty, did he? Got stuck there, though. Interesting. By the way, everyone, uh, we are selling sugar beets. You know, let me start with the sugar beet harvester, then. We'll buy the sugar beet harvester, so the Terados, uh 440... Get one of those. Oh, that's right. This has the $100,000 header, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Okay, well, that. And then we need the header to go with it. There we go. One of those. And, uh, yeah, now we're pretty much broke again. So hopefully we can make another $500,000 from at least the uh, potatoes and what's left of the sugar beets here. I was hoping to get a tractor as well. Really could use some uh, more larger, you know, like 8R size tractors would be great. Not saying it's got to be an 8R, just uh, 8R sized tractors uh, would be good. Even uh, maybe some more articulated larger tractors as well for plowing. Stuff like that would be great as well. A uh, larger planter, definitely need a larger planter. Uh, yeah, anyone, anyone want to loan me some money here? You know, that'd be great. I don't actually have a loan at the moment in the game here, for those of you wondering, by the way, so I can take out a loan. That is an option, but we might do that here at some point. For the moment, I'm trying to avoid that, but uh, yeah, we'll see once we might. We might. Wouldn't mind maybe getting, uh, what is like a really, 35 looks like a really big field. Oh, it includes 34, doesn't it? Uh, value one point seven. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was. Everyone, I figured that'd be like four or five million. Nine hundred seventy nine thousand for that one. That's actually not bad either. Thirty three. That's a good size field. But yeah, that's that's kind of why I haven't taken out a loan yet. We'll see once here in the future. I might put that loan to buying some more fields. So again, that's that's why I haven't uh, taken out a loan or trying not to take out a loan anyway. Okay, let's get our new sugar beet harvester headed back from the shop. Of course, that uh, header has to be parked right in that direction, making it uh, as hard as possible to get to, right? There we go. And what's interesting, uh, grain transport and combi mode are available with this. That is odd. I, I just happened to notice that. Technically, neither of those modes should be active with this, I don't think. Okay, we should see him back at the farm here at some point, though... Probably not before we wrap up this episode, which is going to be, like, very shortly here. So, uh, let's just check here. How's everyone else doing? Uh, potato harvest, or plant. Potato planting uh, still has two hours to go yet, so two more hours. Wow, that is going to be a while. That is going to be a while. Uh, 49 minutes yet for that. Oh, well, anyway, everyone, on that note, we're going to wrap up this episode here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. Don't forget to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers though, as well if you like. Again, join us on TeamSpeak. That TeamSpeak information, again, is down below. And if you don't have TeamSpeak, link for TeamSpeak is down below as well. Also, don't forget to join us on the uh, live streams there over on Twitch. Link for that is down below as well. 
as well as links for my other social media channels, uh, mod list, and any other uh, good information down below as well. So make sure you check out all that uh, good stuff down below in the description. So on that note, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.